I don't even care at this point. Okay, I'm gonna kill myself. I still don't think it's working. Or you have to be actually like joking at the moment. Yeah, somebody... I don't even know. It's just not working. Hm. Well, once again, this is corrupt, not method. I don't know why it won't change the name. It's being extremely complicated. You know, I start the stream when there's, um, four people on both teams. And it always is the last one. It takes forever for no reason. It's kind of been unfortunate. Just give me one second. I don't have to sit away on our beehives because people want to take forever and don't have their five stack already. Okay, well everybody's in. Uh oh, maybe not. Take that take that statement back. I have literally no clue why it says zero versus method. Like this is actually getting stupid at this point. Like, I keep on changing it, and it just changes it back on me for some reason. Okay, that's close to enough people, I guess. Yeah. Let us go. Hopefully they're on the right teams because I didn't do damn thing with the teams. I'm pretty sure they are. That's a yikes. Actually, that's CRL banning Blackbeard, okay. Well, this is actually turn things around. Especially on cafe, I mean, Blackbeard's good on like one site in cafe, if we're gonna be honest. But that's just basically top floor, like balcony and shit like that. If you stand scaly, you're pretty good, but no, Blackbeard's not too good in anywhere else, to be honest. I mean, like, yeah, technically Blackbeard, like, is good everywhere, but there's certain areas where he's better at, you know what I mean? Thanks, Sin. I obviously know that I'm a god at casting, like, nobody can even compete. <coughs> Doc asked me to do it in about the last hour. <laughs> nah, I'm not. He asked me, like, I told him that I could this morning because I was a nice guy. I, I wasn't paying attention to what the bands were, I want to be straight honest. Uh, Elamira, okay, whatever. Who the hell really cares? For to be honest. Uh, Mira and Ella, just whatever the hell. It didn't really matter. They're nothing too important. Oh shit, Mira got banned and Ella's just like. I guess Ella shocking most of the time, to be honest. Now that's an interesting lineup there you got there, um, Rob Deal. Have a single hard breacher. Thank you for, um, 
throwing that statement back at me. I really appreciate it. And he's gonna switch the band even. See, that, I guess he kind of knew he was gonna six pick. Cause I mean, why the hell would you play band if didn't have a hard breacher? Defenders Trying protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I don't remember how to fucking spectate. I haven't done this in a hot minute. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. I mean, they're doing the, the castle, um, what's it called? The old bakery thing. Puts the castle there, allows you to rotate and get a better angle. It's just whatever. Ten seconds remaining. And then they have the window here that, like, could fuck them, to be honest. So it's like, Five it's seconds just left. like whatever hold. Uh, usually, to be honest, I would castle this window, but... Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Nothing else. Too fancy here. Doc's playing a go with the support man that he is. And Bandit's peeking. And, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's questionable, very questionable. But, oh. It's, you, uh, you're shooting so close to his head. Okay, well, at least he did a, a decent amount. Uh, about half health, and somehow neither of those impacts hit him. Repelling upside down. That's a good maneuver. So we all know that CRL hates that, but for some reason he doesn't see the head. That's Attackers pretty have dropped obvious. The bomb diffuser. But there it goes. Thermi boy. Oh shit. I guess everybody's gonna die when I switch to them. Uh, so Thermite died, which is kind of honest. And Sledge jumped in, not having a clue about anything. Like you gets her kill, but to be honest, it's, it's not looking too well for corrupt here. They're looking pretty screwed. They, why, why, why? <laughs> I'm sorry, I noticed that. But just why? On the line, second in engagement. Just IQ gonna drone. That's what got tapped in the toe a little bit. And now he's running in place for some apparent reason. Is that like potato health, but Defender doesn't really matter. And they're all running outside. And they both lose the fight. That is like very disappointing. If I've ever seen anything. My, it's actually funny. The only people that are talking in chat is my own team making fun of me. This is very interesting actually. See, I'm a very logical caster. I'm not one of those guys that gets all hyped over, like, what person getting a headshot. You know what I mean? That was a pretty heavy throw. And if Legion loses this... Okay. Let's say if Legion loses this, I'm 100% blaming on the fact that he's using Reflex. To be honest, this aim isn't that bad there, but... I uh, don't understand why you'd use reflex on a character that should obviously have an ACOG on him. And to be honest, that would've been really funny if they threw that round away, because both of them jumped outside. Uh, but, what are you gonna do? I, I have literally no clue what happened during that, I'm gonna be straight honest with you guys, but um... <laughs> I'm a god caster, obviously. But uh, basically... Thermite died, and they couldn't get wall. It's really all that happened there. I mean, yeah, they they held in the bakery for a while, but nothing really happened to be honest. The castle strat was all right, I guess, but I don't know. It wasn't like anything too special. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. I'm sorry if you might be yawning while I'm in the middle of um, commentating this because I'm extremely tired for some reason. That's probably also why I'm not very hyped at all. Time to be efficient and kinda lazy. I'm guessing he's gonna be using reflex again. I'm not even gonna lie. Barricade up! 
Let's Ten see. No, you're not gonna. Come on. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> we'll look remaining. at him some other time. Pretty cool drone spots, I guess. Attackers are moving to defuse the bomb. I have a bit of information. Is Doc really running double reflex? How the hell does that happen? Sorry, I missed the spawn because I'm very concerned about what just happened. But... I mean, if you're gonna spawn from those windows, I don't understand how you kill anybody. But okay. Well, that was kind of close, actually. Really close to where I was gonna be. And I think Jaeger's gonna jump outside like a rank star. Maybe not. Okay. Thank God. That would have been a very cool decision. And he just shoots Buck a little bit, and Buck just loses the fight for some reason. Okay, I guess Stocks. Uh, okay, I guess Stocks is gonna stand there and kind of look at her as she shoots him. Uh, it's always so much fun. So, I mean, this is like a pretty cool game, I guess, but I don't know. It's like, in my opinion, it's not really a. Uh, it's not like really a first-time thing, like you know what I mean. It's like this this match has happened before many times. Nothing too special about it. But anyhow. They're gonna be pushing hatches, skylight, you're not gonna get walled, anything to be honest. It's kinda a bit unfortunate. Drone active. I mean, you could try to get the wall, but does it really matter at this point when you only have two people against five? New magazine. And that was a kill that he could have gotten, but okay. Maybe you just didn't see him. I just pushed the guy, to be honest. Thoma gets one kill. Congrats, congrats. Jaeger's just poking his head out. Lit up, Cover me, lit up him. He lit up him a little bit. Maybe Doc's gonna assist in this. Okay, or is this gonna die? <laughs> that works too. Uh, is no, that might not gonna be able to clutch. Just they have an echo. Five seconds left. Yeah, good attempt, I guess. What are you gonna do? See, now this is why, um, Sin, you don't tell people what my GT is while I'm casting. Because I'm gonna get spammed with messages and I'm gonna have to block someone. See, you kinda caused this, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry for anybody else that's caught in the crossfire here that's just trying to actually watch the game. You know, I've never been so tired casting a game before. I don't even really understand why. Attackers but, need to locate and defuse bombs. Um. So I don't turn notifications off because I don't actually know to be honest. I probably forget to turn it back on. Bomb located by attackers. Reloading. 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 Is he still Where's using? Why? Uh, I guess he doesn't really get into minigun fights, so it doesn't really matter. Turn echo, so. Play two games to stop playing. Ten seconds left before insertion. Nothing too special about it. Five no seconds left. Have to be running around the map getting people. 
attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. So it's actually wait, if you might have been that thing, it's actually pretty cool. So they made a rotate right next to where the door is at. So what's the point of casting the door if you make a rotate next to it? Especially in that position, it's just weird. I don't know. Okay, the legions really hurt, and his own teammate just flashed him. Oh, legions actually down. I thought he just got hurt, but I guess he's down. They don't have a buck or anything. So I'm kind of killing him unless it's gonna be ash. How did legion? What? Okay, this is just confusing at this point. I'm very concerned. A lot of the mistakes that I have to make, they're gonna be honest. You know, I, I like to commentate this match, but a lot of the mistakes that are happening here is just all these pushes by corrupt are just extremely disjointed for literally no reason. It's like I don't understand why everybody has their own job, but like, none of them are doing anything. It's just kind of a bit strange. They get IQ and Maverick. I'm gonna for Maverick to the window with IQ. Especially because they have an echo. And then the only two people that haven't seen to do anything with the weather rise is they're my Nash. And they're pushing above. Pushing Maverick, they're my Ash. And then IQ and Twitch pushing main sight. That's what I would say. How do you... Oh. That's really disappointing. You just hate to see that, if I'm gonna be honest. Well, Kaid's extremely lit at the moment. He misses a few shots on the ash as she's running across the holes. Yes, no, she's not gonna see her slaying me. Oh my god. They're so close. The same Kaid's like. And Castle's just gonna lose the fight to Ash. Okay. But remember, uh, Echo's still alive, so you can stop this play if they take too long. They probably get this play right now. Ten seconds remaining. Yep, there you go. Five seconds to go. And the red has no clue where it's at, and it's Ash in the rush down. Operators, you have run out of time. I mean, like... Yeah, I don't even know. It's, it's just... Like, you guys need to do things that are... Helping each other. That's the problem with Corrupt. The serials just conveniently seems to be helping each other. To be honest, I don't think a lot of them are particularly playing to try to be with each other. But it seems like that's kind of what's been happening since they're all defense. But the attacks by Corrupt are just extremely weak. They just don't... They just push so disjointedly. It doesn't make any sense. Like, you had Twitch pushing... Um the back like with white staircase and stuff like that you had iq maverick pushing window Defenders protect your bombs and you have being by attackers thermite ash pushing up top it's, it doesn't make any sense because like if you guys are all going to be pushing that you guys should be like switching around a little bit in my opinion it probably should be ash if not ash is if ash is not pushing up top i should be on that so but if ash is pushing up top that makes sense so as she's pushing up top, she gets all the control. Thermite can do his job. Maverick can do his job. Everybody can do their jobs. And also, how did the Thermite not get hatch? Ten seconds to go. It's, it's soft. He it, it didn't get hatch. Five think. seconds left. There was a Kaid on it, but you could place it right next to hatch and blow it up. Attackers must really locate and defuse a bomb. If I'm not, if I'm not incorrect, he could, could have opened it up. But I'm pretty sure he didn't because. Really, that probably been a way better play to actually jump from there. 
Jaeger, for some reason using a red dot, has been lit up a whole bunch. He's kind of hurting. Uh, Twitch got shot a little bit. No, not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> We're so close to each other. Wow, that's just... That's crazy. So a downstairs hold, so... I guess Jaeger is just supposed to be hitting the top. Drone up. Cover me, reload it. Position device. This place needs to be turned around. I mean. Do we have a thermite, a uh, jackal, ash, twitch, I feel? Well, I guess we'll see what happens in this round, and I'll, I'll say what, 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 um, what could be changed for the attack. Because more or less, the attack makes the first boost, so the attack makes the first mistake. Cast out, don't Leave. Oh, it's to, to to okay, that's okay. Fresh magazine. It's a full touch the floor. This time Doc is using my stream. Bomb located by attackers. Okay. Um, he gets to refrag. Attackers have dropped the bomb. Three on the Just then I pushed up a little bit and then um I can even do a lot here actually with her position. The walls Okay, well there you go. Two or two. I was finally killing that castle that seemed to give them such a big problem. Attackers have located a bomb. 15 seconds remaining. 10 seconds okay, remaining. Just endure this. Okay. Let's be able to gun one down. 5 seconds left. Ash going for plan. I think he's going to come in. Attackers activated. I'm going to miss that. Um, to be honest, that was not actually that bad. I could kind of see their objective there, to be honest. I don't know why they're not picking a buck. I really don't. Like, okay, Ash is alright. Like, she's been able to take a lot of map control pretty quickly. Jackal, kind of doubling down, to be honest, with the Ash. It's kind of questionable, to be honest. Like, obviously, he's not doing bad, but he's been kind of doing what Buck should be doing, slash Sledge if you want to play Sledge too. He's kind of been doing what they are supposed to be doing, and it doesn't really make a lot of sense. IQ, I don't think I've gotten, has gotten an Echo Drone, or anything electronical yet. Unless I'm just mistaken. All I've seen her doing was blowing up the floor. Thermite, I think has been being a bit too aggressive. Need to I'm just trying to give bomb. criticism to every single player of this team. Just to like, like, I know this is obviously an important match, and this is obviously a match, but the main point in casting all the time is to teach people lessons. Bomb teach people what they're doing wrong. Instead of saying that everybody's doing everything right, if you tell them what they're doing wrong, they can fix on that. And sometimes I feel like that's what casting is. At least when you're an analyst. You say what they're doing wrong, say what at least the match player should be doing to formulate their strategy better. Ten seconds remaining. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. However, I guess that was a really good Five ending go. of that round. They actually did really good. They were able to push in. I was kind of questioning because I thought Maestro was going to go everybody down. Maestro misses shots and then Maestro misses shots. Easy kill for Ash and then they had map control. Reloading. 
Thank you. Also, dueling a little bit. And I keep kicks it and cast it right past it. Sorry, I'm close. It's a little bit unfortunate. And it stops just crumbling before it even gets... Before it even gets there, man. I mean, at this point, like, how do you get spawned? That was actually a pretty good idea by, by Jackal, I'm not even gonna lie, that, that might have worked out. Which is unfortunate for him. Oh, it's all with a thermite. And literally, they didn't even get to the damn building. I'm sorry, shit, I'm not too good at um, chop casting. Oh shit, it's a flawless round! Oh my god! Legion with the perfect headshot directly onto his head, even though it was a body shot. What an absolute god! I can't even believe this. This is actually insane. Like, if you just seen that amount of actual skill in that maneuver, that was pretty crazy. Now they couldn't even they couldn't get the site. They couldn't actually get there. They kept on dying off of spawn peaks. And to be honest, it was a pretty good idea to spawn peak if they're not gonna do anything about it, really. It's just questionable how you get killed by a spawn peak every single time, you know what I mean? And before they even really get there, half their team's already dead. That was my attempt at shout casting, by the way, and it just went back to my normal casting, I'm sorry. We're gonna see some, um, hopefully some different maneuvers here from the downstairs hold, no, hopefully enforcing. I mean, they left this wall soft last time, they might actually do something cool with it. No, I, I guess somebody just forgot the reinforcements. They're doing this strat again, um, but hey, we're gonna hold small bakery, you guys walk in the big bakery, and you guys can't do anything. I mean, to be honest, this is just a very, very, very... Very standard Ready. game, nothing too special is happening whatsoever. Ten seconds remaining. It's just Yeah, I, I don't know. Remaining. It's like there's nothing really happening here. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and I don't know if it's anything in this game or like this is just okay. I mean like it's just it's not even like these Already spawn peaks are like, impressive. They're just jumping outside at this Reloading. point, and Corrupt just doesn't seem to have a response for it. Yeah, this time Stermite's actually watching a run out, but they're probably not going to run out of the same place twice, to be honest. Like, like, nothing... Nothing... Okay, at least really trying to tap his head away. Nothing, like... No walls have been got, no walls have been opened yet. They're being a top down clear. I mean, I think all of them are basically except for Jaeger. Most of them are in basement. So I mean top down clears aren't that bad. Yeah, they killed Jaeger. That's actually pretty good to be honest. But they spend oh, be a little bit of time upstairs. Not all too long. Loading new magazine. And Chackle, once again, I just, I don't understand it sometimes. Like, what's the I guess castle's just fighting for the right at this point? And they gave him top control. But I think it's Termite that's gonna be contesting it. Okay. Attackers are Okay, I don't know how that wasn't a headshot, but already. Oh. <laughs> okay. Attackers recovered the that's bomb defeat. Actually, he just uh, prone peaked him basically. Jackal is still pushing the up. Yeah. So I don't do that, man. I'm sorry, but I'm just obviously job to fuck your sledge. Otherwise, you're just sitting there. And yeah, it seems like he wants to re-peak for some reason. 
And he's only teammates to do something, to be honest. But Ash is still above. Thermite hasn't gotten the ball yet. Thermite does get a kill, though. Which is always fun. Good job, good job to him. Besides, all the bombers still with, I think. I mean, mute over here is in um, Bakery, and it's just Echo holding left. off the fight. Five seconds to go. Mm. Ash almost gets the kill. Operators are out of time. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of angles to hold there. I understand that, but I don't know, man. It's just the same things have been happening over and over again. Like now, it seems like. To be honest, this la last time this didn't happen, but this time it, this time the um, corrupt seemed like they had a structured plan. It's just they didn't like do it. <laughs> they had a plan. They they were gonna take top control, then they were gonna do everything else they needed to do. They took top control, and then they went down to do everything else they were gonna do, and didn't do anything else they were supposed to do. In my opinion, the Maverick pick is a little bit questionable if you're not getting any hatches. And especially because you really need him on this map, if we're to be honest. There's really, to be honest, maybe two sites where he's good on. Maybe. Defenders but both of them, it's not really amazing. By there's, no, there's no, like, godsend reason, like, as if you were playing on um, Clubhouse. Clubhouse is attackers. a perfect example, where Maverick's just, like, an amazing character. There's no reason you shouldn't be amazing. It's so good. But on this map, it's just. Unless you're trying to go for hatches and thermite a bond or a band, there's no really any point. Thermite places it right there, boom. Right next to the hatch, blows up the hatch. It's how simple it is. It's kaiated, it's muted, it doesn't fucking matter. You can still get the hatch very easily. Left. It's really just that simple. Five seconds and it, just, to go. it just seems like corrupt. Are just seeming to make. Attackers are moving Their life to way more difficult than they need it to be. That's really the gist of it all. Another side to switch. <laughs> Still using reflex. Um, but yeah, this time it seems. Why is everyone really sparking on cafe? To be honest, I can like CRL's attack here, I'm not gonna run. They actually, like, hopefully seem like they have a bit of a plan here. Yeah, they're droning up top, okay, okay. Well, that's obviously the sight tap, but... And there goes the spawn peak here, I think? Yeah, he's peeking the window again. And Giga's pre-firing something that's not... Oh, that's actually a good shot. A really nice shot there. And that's just walked in and... Oh, okay, there you go. There's the retaliation. She walked in, head behind a couch and got shot from multiple different places. But I think it's Thermite kind of alone. Everybody's kind of disjointed now. It's it's a little bit weird. But... Okay, well, yeah, Jacko and Thermite regrouped and it seems like one that's going to regroup too. Which is perfectly okay if you guys are regrouping. It's amazing. Oh, so close to a headshot. That's really unfortunate. Missing a shot just a little bit. Jacqueline down. Legion are exchanging some words. And unfortunate that my church had wide peeking and lost the fight. If a Legion does get one kill and could go pick up his teammate right now. Yeah, there you go. Picking up his teammate. And Smeister's looking for the plant, but nobody's planted yet. One of them's droning again. Hmm. I don't know about that. Especially right there. Oh my god, dude. He's just in the right spot. Bomb located by attackers. Legion. How do you? Oh no! Seems like Thermite knows, but Thermite just loses the fight just because he looked away. 
Here you go. Jack also loses this fight. If they <laughs> did something, they could have won that. To be honest, that was kind of a lot funnier of a round, I'm not even gonna lie. Because it seemed like, like, Zero had... It seems like a lot of the attacks here are just extremely weak. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really seen an amazingly strong attack. To be honest, that was kind of the closest one to an amazingly strong attack. But, it's just, you guys just didn't win your fights, and you guys just had questionable positioning. That's what I would say for Zero. But definitely a really, really, really good, really good um, thing that um, that Legion was able to get that kill on the Nomad, I think it was. Yeah, the Nomad. And then it would basically bring it to a 2v2 after Rob is down with the teammate. So that was definitely protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. But yeah, it just seems like a lot of the attacks here have been questionable in my opinion. The defenses have been pretty good. I mean, a lot of them are standard defenses. But typically, my opinion, most teams are doing. However, it does seem like Corrupt is not doing the um, same castle trap. They didn't have him bring a castle. If they have bring a Mew. Probably just a drone denied, to be honest. And that's really all they're bringing back from. Everybody wants to bring Echo because Echo got the ban phase. Ten seconds left before insertion. Nothing amazing. Five seconds left. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Loading mag. Seems like they're putting it in the big room here instead of giving it up. Just kind of exactly like how Cyril did. It's a really good. Idea. I don't know if CRL are gonna repel upside down here. I think they just might try to peek. The last was trying to hurt Legion or Mute, so I'm a little bit. But they really look down. Legion very close to hitting his shots, actually. And they're repelling upside down. Like, who's doing this so I can make fun of you? Sorry, but that's kind of the reason. It's jelly. Doctor, if you ever complained that we're repelling upside down, look at this man. Toxins that's all I wanted to say. But now Ash just jumped in to Lights Small out. Bakery. So she has a lot more control. But she doesn't be flanked as much. But she's kind of peeking. Which is, she's jumping outside. I don't exactly agree with that. And unfortunately, Doc just loses his fight. We're just going to wait. Maybe get some kills here. Oh, that's a free kill if I ever seen one. Good job to capitalize on that one. A little bit of a strange rotation, but it was definitely a really good pickup for the kill. Hopefully trying to bring back the main advantage into his favor because it was a little bit down. Just still the echo and now they're starting to attack the bomb Ash just doesn't really seem to know where Jaeger's even at. Like he was joining him out and Ash is just forgetting about it and running away. I think Sledge is gonna no, actually Jaeger's backing up because he got drone. Let's say I thought Sledge was about to get shot in the side because he wasn't playing, but no. Jaeger's just rotating away. I don't agree with that too much. I would say rotate away, but not like that far away. And unfortunately, Ash wins that fight. And I echo. He's not gonna be on his echo drone. He's just gonna face. Me. Attackers are activating the bomb diffuser. Defenders have eyes on you. Attackers need to protect it. I don't know if that's really the play, Chief. I'm not gonna lie. And is this just getting info? Okay. Yeah. I. I don't know. Like I said, if Jaeger were to play a bit closer, there's nobody pushing back. He probably could have held sight a bit better. With Leisha, I think it was. Who just, I guess, may have overpeaked and got shot. 
or may have gotten pushed and got shot. Either way, it doesn't really matter. In my opinion, it wasn't 100% Jaeger's fault. He did get the one kill on the first guy. Or the thermite. But he didn't, like, push back. He didn't go back to site. After you get a kill, and after you have already scared them that you're that direction, you either flank, you wait and flank, or you go back to site. And he kind of waited, but he, like, went backwards and sat watching the back. Which is really weird because they already opened up the wall. They already committed so many resources, so they're not going to switch their Defenders strategy all of a sudden from just because somebody dies. I mean, I won match. Bomb located by attackers. Six two, it's pretty surprising score. Like so. But um, hopefully corrupt can bring it back, give us a bit of a closer game here. Because right now, a lot of the attacks have been looking, really, in my opinion, Cyril's attacks have been looking a lot better. And ten seconds to go. It just seems like a lot of time. It seems like corrupt is a bit lost most of the time. Five seconds to where. They kind of have an idea of what they're supposed to be doing. Like, it's kind of seems like every individual player knows what they're supposed to be doing. It's just that when they're working together and when they're working as they should. You know what I mean? Oh, and Doctor's finally not using a reflex. We've all been saved. Oh, actually, that's... I like that peak a lot. He might be able to kill me. Oh, he's, he's actually on the other side of the map. The incoming. Set device. I bet it's gonna try to banish up this wall. And I guess if you guys have that Jaeger there, it is a good idea. But, do you really need to? Yeah, like... I need that. Okay, well... <laughs> that's, uh, that's Jaeger there. Another repel upside down. The diffuser. And he just loses that fight. And now they should have bakery control. Okay. It sounded like somebody got sledged. IQ spinning around. Okay, and yeah, this is, yeah. Well, I don't even. <laughs> I don't know what to say at that point. If we're gonna be honest, a lot of the attacks were really weak. Cyril's attacks were just, just a little bit better. They actually like did what they were supposed to do, in my opinion. They, they didn't like. A lot of times they were losing their gunfights, not a lot of times, but they sometimes were losing their gunfights. But they weren't, like, doing anything particularly wrong. It's just that they sometimes did a little bit stupid plays, but it's mainly just corrupt, not working together as a team, in my opinion. They're probably all very, very good players, but in my opinion, they did not work well as a team at all. They just didn't attack right they just said hey let's just all push and do our own things they didn't get walls they didn't get hatches they didn't really provide that much that much at all they didn't really provide that much um stop reaching capabilities vertical play they did have a um a jackal but it's he's his his weapon is just worse. There's no reason to use a jackal when I don't think anybody got pinged once. I don't think a single person got pinged the entire game. But they still decided to play jackal, and he just didn't do anything. And he always did the same jobs Buck's supposed to do. And Buck has an attached shotgun, so it, it doesn't. I don't even know. It's that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me.
typically get an interview here. I always try to do interviews. I just, I really don't agree with um, a lot of things that Corrupt were doing. Like, like, obviously, CRL, they did a lot of things they were supposed to be doing. They lost a few gunfights. That's really the only reason why they lost a few rounds, to be honest. They didn't do anything that wrong, except for that one round, I think, where Ash ran in. I think, yeah, I think that was on Corrupt's defense, if I'm not wrong. That was a little bit weird, but other than that, they did everything really well they got all the walls they were supposed to get they did all the jobs that they were supposed to do it was perfectly okay but I just it's just really questionable about what corrupt was doing I just don't think I really understand it kind of seemed like they were playing as if no hard breachers were or no hard breaches were allowed as if buck was just like not allowed it's confusing in my opinion they seem to really, I guess, care about the roamers. If they're going to pick Jackal every time. But he didn't do anything. It's just... It's so weird. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And hopefully, you know, maybe another match that they play. Another match that somebody may be able to cast. Even myself included. Hopefully, um... Maybe they're going to do a similar thing. And we'll be able to comprehend a little bit better. But it just... At the moment, doesn't make any sense to me. And I guess we're not going to do an interview. For some apparent reason. So yeah. Um, if you guys want to check out um, my stream. I haven't streamed in a while. But I might be streaming sometime soon. It's at A Legend R6. Twitch, Twitch.tv slash a legend r6 no underscore this time i actually changed that from being underscore last time because i realized the underscore looks pretty stupid so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out and watch me play some um siege then by all means but other than that i uh, guess i'll see you guys